Amanda. If you're wondering where the big glass jar went, I didn't actually break it, but I was afraid that I was going to, trying to plop things into it, and then I would hit the side and it would crack and then it would smash and I would have water and silver all over the place. So instead, I took your advice and got myself a big metal pot. And I'm gonna cast into this and see if I can plop properly. See if I can properly. <laughs> balls that is very cold water oh my god that's very cold oh my god holy that is massive i think it worked let's see what else we got oh god this is very cold water it's so very cold mm, it's kind of neat okay so you said not to use a very big batch because i might end up with bells that are really big and that's pretty much exactly what happened these are pretty big and not, I got like one bell, one bell. And this one's kind of bellception. Bell inside a bell inside a bell. Which is kind of neat, but not really what I'm going for anyway. I think also my metal might've been too hot because you were like, don't make it nuclear hot. And I was like, I made it new hot, nuclear hot. All right, so I pulled out the things I liked and everything else is going back in the fire. Cue the jump cut. Ah, cold. 
Holy moly. That is big and a bit ugly. Weird cornflakes. Closer. I guess this is a practice thing. So, um, what I got here, not bad. It's not 100% what I'm looking for, but this is definitely towards the right direction. It's gonna take some time to get it towards where I want it, and it's obviously something I'm gonna have to practice doing, but not bad. This is what happens when we've got 32 degree water. But what happens when the water's really cold? I don't think it worked. So it turns out, dry ice doesn't make water very cold. And you get splats. That one kind of looks like a crushed salamander. Pebbles. Ring my bell. So this process is obviously going to take some time and some practice, but I did have a few successful pieces, so I'm going to call that a win. Like I said earlier, dry ass doesn't seem to cool the water off. Maybe I didn't use enough, but if anything, it seemed to warm it up a little bit. All the metal just fell through the water and hit the bottom, and I don't know if it's because the water was cavitating because of the dry ice, or if it just wasn't cold enough. I'm not a scientist, maybe I needed more, maybe not. You tell me what happened here. Anyway, now that we've got the shapes we want, we can start making stuff. And that's exciting. Amanda, I know you're busy with a move and a new job, but when you get a chance, why don't you give us a tour of the art side of your new city? Thanks for watching. 